A wild ride for stocks so far in October, leading to the biggest surge in market volatility since early this year. Think 100-point stock moves for the Dow in a matter of minutes. But some see these market gyrations as a money-making opportunity. Reuters recently met one investor who's found a way to profit from betting against the volatility wave. Seth Golden is making a name for himself by shorting the volatility index, and he's making a lot of money along the way. So, Seth, you have reportedly made millions on that trade. How'd you do it? Uh, just taking advantage of the trends that um, are pretty much in the marketplace and have been for, for quite some time. Um, that along with just the, the nature of volatility itself and understanding how volatility works in the market lends itself um, to certain prediction, predictive you know, outcomes. So Seth, tell me, how does one go from becoming an everyday worker at Target to becoming a volatility trader and have you really made millions on the trade? Yes. Um, well, going from Target to a, a volatile, I've always been an investor or and, and a trader. I was trading while I was at Target in my office on the way home. You know, that's the benefit of mobile technology. Um, but I didn't come into volatility probably till 2011, 2012, and I became enthralled with it. So you know, somewhat fascinated with it trial and error, just like anything else, um, services your long-term experience. And from that, you just, you know, I've just developed, um, I, you know, you don't want to think of yourself as an expert, but I've become, um, you know, very sound in this particular practice of knowing, you know, the, the environment, the market environment, when it's ideal to have larger positions as opposed to smaller positions. Um, for example, uh, in my last research report at phenomgroup.com, uh, I outlined that we were reducing our exposure to the short volatility complex because, uh, you know, we had already um, booked sizable gains for the year. You know, I'll just uh, lay low and uh, wait for the next opportunity to short or increase my exposure uh, to short the VIX. Now, this is a super complicated trade. Uh, one person we spoke to said it's like trying to pick up pennies in front of a steamroller. So why does this, this trade work for you? What do you like about it? The people, um, generally the folks that use that uh, analogy or metaphor, um, they are using it so far as they understand VIX exchange, exchange traded products are products to gamble with. You don't want to hold them overnight. It even says so in their prospectus that this is not an instrument to hold overnight. Um, but you know, when you when you understand uh, volatility, the nature of volatility, um, you actually should have a longer term strategy as opposed to not holding these overnight. So that's what's actually worked out most for me. I, I, I participate in a trade that most don't. Um, so I'm creating my own liquidity um, and, you know, it's kind of be where they're not. And that's what it's been for me. While most people are gambling, the market could go either way on any given day. The VIX can go up or down, you know, depending on, on the market environment and market sentiment on any given day. But that's why I don't think of it as, as a, oh, I'm just going to enter this trade for today. I enter in a manner or, or I participate in shorting volatility in a manner where I'm thinking of it long term, at the very minimum, a 30 days fix future cycle, at the minimum. But more often than not, my strategy has been on an annual basis. So for you, what are you looking for? What are you looking at to tell you when it's time to get out of this trade? A very simple correlation would be um, the S&P 500 going up and volatility going up at the same time or the VIX going up at the same time, um, at least for a number of days. When you start to see that trend, um, it usually portends that something is on the horizon. You know, you take them all together and it tells you this is probably not a good time to, at the very least, increase your short volatility exposure, um, but more than likely you want to minimize it.